Hi, my friends. My name is Sergey Shevelov, and I'm really happy to say a few words about new book, about my new book, Geography of Chinese Tea, which finally out in English, and I'm really proud of it. I don't afraid to say these words because it's really close to 10 years of work. First, we work on first edition in Russian for six years around. After two more years for second edition in Russian and after that more two years for this translation. Actually first I want to say great thank you to all of those who participated in translation. It's Amir, Olga, John and other people who make editing and uh, translation of the book. It takes a lot of time. And the second thing I want to say a few words about the book of course because uh, yeah it's something what I think is needed. One of the main books about tea to anyone who really love it, uh, especially Chinese tea, because we try to collect uh, the most important information about uh, variety of teas, about tea geography, about types, manufacturing, whatever. So mostly it's not about uh, consuming tea, but about uh, how to harvest it, how it's prepared and a lot of other things a lot of stories around tea and, and mostly it's interesting for those who travel who like to travel who sometime want to go to china also because yeah you can discover detailed explanation of uh, some locations um, terrars and whatever yeah it's actually also uh, 10 years of my experience in china because 99.9 percent of photos made by me personally during my travels in china and also you can find yeah a lot of pretty rare information about some places which is not very popular but mostly we focused on uh, most well-known teas each tea have some stories of how it goes so at first it's a book which really have a big amount of very useful information uh, about chinese tea tradition and uh, yes yeah, so i think it's needed for anyone <laughs> who really love with tea a uh, small addition there's a uh, QR codes on each on some pages which leads to this channel that you're looking now some uh, videos from this channel uh, which is relates to the articles on these pages and uh, yeah it's really uh, i think not only beautiful but also at the same time very useful uh, texts you can hear from, you can you can find here um, about yeah most of well-known teas actually are written mostly about uh, teas which is well known or well promoted as i told and uh, try to explain processes in details uh, it also can be useful for, for those who manufacture teas because uh, yeah even if you studied that before maybe you can find something which you didn't knew before pretty detailed explain it most of chinese teas technological processing especially for poor, for Oolons, for green tea, but which is the most complicated story is about Oolons and uh, yeah, I tried to make it yeah, really detailed, like about break tea, fermentation, drying, processing. I'd like to say that this is uh, also all my photos, which I made during the travels, yeah, really useful for manufacturers. Maybe it's not too detailed for using as a manual but uh, for viewing uh, just then receiving uh, a wide range of information relates to the te technological processing as a whole thing i think it's very useful some interesting photos about uh, guandong <laughs> teas and uh, how it's changed uh, during the time because yeah, i used to travel for several years to the same location and story about disappeared uh, oldest tea tree in Guangdong mountains and some other interesting stories which is like for me as a bit personal um, a lot of factories a lot of tea plantations and stories around of course geography is the biggest part in this book because it's called geography actually but I yeah, also try to open up uh, a lot of small details and some stories which is not on the upper layer of information about tea. I think a very interesting article about yellow tea processing, which is also pretty complicated. I have some stories and photos from there. Each province, for example, now we're talking about Hubei province, or we're talking about some other 
regions I not cover all the regions actually because it's really like we have more than 900 uh, districts which make manufacture tea in China and I only mention like not the all <laughs> but uh, most of if you talk about Guangdong province on the north it's Meizhou, Chaozhou and Zhejiang and also in the northern west of the province and yeah so it's uh, also a very interesting place and how it's connected to Fujian province it's a border with Fujian mostly manufacture tea in the beginning we have a few articles introducting articles first of course is my own personal introduction and about my way of tea and some small philosophical part which is very important for me which is behind the scenes how to say <laughs> and uh, here is a little bit uh, information about the history brief introduction history of tea tradition which is really short but yeah, it's explaining how it was established about classic of course about the Yui and uh, some establishing of tea tradition and and how it's now presented yeah some stories about of course dynasties Ming dynasty Qing dynasty tea houses in different regions of China this recent history and a uh, very big part about tea science which is not uh, completely big but uh, yeah there are some special editions uh, which we just uh, added only in this English edition of this book it didn't contain in uh, uh, our second Russian edition with some very important uh, information about acids and enzymes and ch chemistry actually and how it's react with the human brain <laughs> I think it's also interesting and useful information a little bit about tea agriculture which also lead to the science and after that we move to the big geography of all China and you can see that yeah it's included all the provinces uh, which can be the few can be found most of these of course uh, we have much more varieties we mentioned mostly well-known and well-promoted teas but uh, of course there are some more rare types and for uh, not even first step but for a big great leap into the tea world it's a very good start <laughs> yes yeah, so of course it will be continued for more details and uh, started from of course from the roots from Yunnan province because actually it's a tea a motherland of the tea plant and uh, yeah from Yunnan we go to the more northern territories tell a lot about other provinces but also there's other locations in the same province the same if you talk about Fujian province or other you know, provinces we have of course whole Taiwan and uh, for example we didn't mention some places but uh, still I think the book will, will have more <laughs> more uh, editions later as soon as China will be open again I can go around and we will add more <laughs> information and uh, it's still full of discoveries what I want to say because yeah, it's spending so long time and still is like another complete Bible of tea <laughs> how to say but uh, still a big 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 amount of information I think Fujian province is one of, like one of the main provinces and this is why it's so big <laughs> it's all about Fujian why it is was all on these Oishan mountains has a very special place it also have a lot of videos and technologies explanation in details for rock wounds processing and harvesting yeah one of the main things Oishan may be one of the biggest part because it's uh, one of the hearts of uh, Chinese tea um, culture as a thing you know, have a very big historical background also yeah we just opened Fujian province and I want to throw yeah, it so it's still we can say more about uh, some other uh, Xian how we, how we call it in Chinese but uh, most of well-known like Wu Shan, like uh, Sun Xi, Jian Yang, Zhen He which is famous for white tea Fuding, which is famous for also for white tea mostly. Fuan, Shoning, also white tea and black tea and something else. Anxi, of course, because of Tie Guan. Pinghe, Zhang also have some Wulun tea and yeah, and some other places also we have, but didn't mention it here yet. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, it's still need to be more information 
uh, can be t told about some provinces, but I think even in this uh, most known locations is still very interesting. We will have something to discover. So yeah, uh, this book is a limited edition, 2,000 copies. Uh, pretty big amount already sold because we published it like a few weeks ago. This can be found on the links down. You can uh, buy it online uh, in two places. One is in our Amsterdam tea house where we are now located. Uh, so if you are located in European Union, it's better to order it from Amsterdam. You save on, on customs at least and then shipping will be faster. And also you can buy it from our Russian store uh, at mochai.com. So yeah, you can we also sell it, uh, sell it and send on worldwide. So it's yeah easy, easy to buy. I'm really thankful for your support, and we now work on more interesting books. Information will be later, and I hope uh, that my uh, input to the tea tradition and uh, tea ceremony and the uh, is uh, something important for all of us, for all the tea community. So yeah, thank you anyone and uh, I hope you will love this book.